head back to the beginning of time. No, nothing, nowhere, or no one to find. We follow the moonlight, chase after the sun, searching for some peace of mind. Searching for the silver light channel this is beauty laquette and today i am here to give you guys another wig review this time i decided to put the wig on first instead of doing that whole process because i really was curious about this orange ginger hair from sensational i would like to thank hair so fly for sending me this unit please don't get used to any of these backgrounds that i am doing i'm trying to get used to this apartment i'm trying to get used to the lighting uh it is what four or five o'clock and there's no sun that comes in my window so there's no type of brightness that hits my you know that hits my apartment as much as uh, when I was staying with my mom and dad but this is going to be something ain't it okay y'all so let's get straight into this review I am reviewing a wig from Sensational, reviewing the collection Dashley she is the lace unit 10 and she is in the color T2 Copper. She is a lace front wig. She does have baby hairs, but as you can see, I didn't want no type of baby hairs. I wanted to just swoop that back. I didn't want to fool with the baby hairs. I was about to, but I was like, yeah, no. So, of course, the cap feature, she has an ear-to-ear -ear soft lace. She is made up of heat-resistant fiber, so you can flat iron her at any type of heat to her up to 350 to 400 degrees it does have a deep center part with baby hairs again like i said i didn't use the baby hairs i feel like this texture of hair i don't know i'm really like i like the thickness of it i would consider this a yakky unit but 
I don't know, I'm not feeling the poofiness of it like I thought I would have. I don't know if it's me getting used to this color, baby. I am giving y'all Kim Possible tees. Like, this uh, lace lays down really nicely. I had to, of course, you've seen that I had to pluck a little bit of the parting space a little bit in on the sides to give it a more natural look because I didn't want it to look too like just slapped it on top of my forehead. Inside of the wig, as you can see, she did have three combs, two on the sides, one in the back, and then she does have adjustable straps. I just wanted to experiment and see how I look with some orange copper hair. It's okay. It's a lot to get used to. It's okay. This color is very, um, it's very intimidating for me because y'all know I love me a 1B. Would I purchase this uh, in this color again? Maybe not. She doesn't shed as much, but she does tangle. But it is a beginner-friendly unit, so you guys won't be uh, struggling with this unit. So that concludes today's video. Thank y'all so much for having so much patience with me in this video because I feel like I was just all over the place in this video. I was jumping from one wall to the next. Y'all, I literally, I'm, I'm literally in the hallway. My bathroom is right here. My bedroom's right here. Like I'm in the hallway. So I feel like this is the perfect lighting. So I might be <laughs> putting a chair right here for the time being until I get my whole space situated as far as what I want in the background. Y'all like this video? If y'all actually like how this wig look on me, let me know in the comment section below. Everything about this unit will be in my description box below. The product link, the specs of it, all the other good stuff and yeah thank y'all so much for coming back to my channel i appreciate y'all every single time and i will talk to y'all later peace